Hey everyone, I'm here with Kevin, uh, the multiplayer design director working on Halo 5. Did I say that right? Yeah. Awesome. I used to get this wrong all the time. So, Kevin, I want to talk to you about the announcement that was made today. Uh, we heard that Halo 5 was going to have a new multiplayer mode, and you guys came out and shocked us all with Warzone. So, give me right now, I want to hear your big spiel, what you've been saying all day. What's Warzone? Warzone is our all new 12 on 12 uh, competitive multiplayer game that has AI in it, bases, uh, vehicles, and absolutely everything in the Halo sandbox. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like what we always wanted to build as Halo fans and developers. It's the ultimate Halo toy box where anything is possible. So basically I get to run around, run from other players, and then run from hunters also. That's right. You can choose what you want to engage. Uh, you know, when you spawn in a base, you not only get to choose which weapon or vehicle you're, go you're taking with you, uh, but also you and your teammates can decide, do we want to take on those players over there or do we want to go after that AI? Now, how big do the maps compare to the actual size of like no normal multiplayer maps, like an 8-on-8, eight 4-on-4 eight, four four battle? Oh, they're about four times bigger. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so there's a lot of space game. and it's plenty of areas to explore. Wow. So, Will, do you have anything? Yeah, so, so was it, I mean, there's a lot of good multiplayer g games out there, you know, a lot of good uh, competitive uh, multiplayer games that people are trying to get into and all that kind of thing. Did, was this a conscious decision to add the AI into it to change up how Halo's been played as, as, from a competitive standpoint? Yeah, it's always something we kind of wanted to do, but wasn't technically possible before. And now that we're using dedicated servers, like from the beginning, and they're beefy dedicated servers, we can actually run all these AI. Yeah. And uh, one of our very first demos we made, uh, we tried it out. We had a little bit of AI and sort of a 4 and 4 game, and we were like, wow. This is really cool. We have we already have something here. Um, so a great reason for us to do it was our uh, Halo uh, campaign players and Halo players who just aren't really that into multiplayer yet. We wanted to give them a spot where they could spawn, you know, get a moment, take themselves, figure out where they want to go on the battlefield, and then go and engage an AI they might already be familiar with. Yeah, that's a great point, because some players might be uh, maybe intimidated at the fact that they're going to get blown away so easily, and now with the AI built in, there's like there's other things going on, it creates that extra level of chaos and involvement. Absolutely. Yeah, well, you know, when you see a grunt, you know who you can match up well really well against him. Uh, but one of my favorite things is we have some really competitive pro gamers that go into Warzone, and they go in, they think they're going to take out all these players, and then they run into some of the bosses and underestimate how hard they are, and they're like, oh shit, I need some teammates. <laughs> <laughs> so I know one of the other announcements was the, uh, the controller at Microsoft's briefing today, um, uh, more geared, and you can totally correct me if I'm wrong, but more geared towards the, the competitive player, right? So, I mean, with the extra features that are onto it? Or? Oh, definitely. Um, I know some of the guys on that team, and they worked very closely with competitive players. They did all sorts of research groups, and um, I've talked to some, some of the pro gamers who are using it right now at Microsoft, and they can't get enough of it. Um, it feels great in your hands, um, and I really am looking forward to seeing how it goes in Halo. Yeah, yeah, so I was getting that. Hopefully, you know, a lot of Halo players will be picking up that controller, making a difference in their game, and even some of the players like we were talking about that might not be as good can pick up a controller like this and maybe help them out a little bit more, do you think? Well, I certainly hope so. I mean, I think the best thing to do is get the, your get your hands on the controller, give it a feel, and see if it's right for you. Gage? Yeah. Uh, Kevin, I didn't have any other questions. I know we got to wrap up soon. Uh, I just want to say I'm very excited for Warzone, and maybe you can uh, sneak me in down there, help me out. Um, so, okay, definitely fancy, definitely. Uh, so, thank you, thanks for talking with us. We're really looking forward to Halo 5 and Warzone, everything it has to offer. Um, for all things Halo 5 and more E3 coverage, make sure you stick here on Press Start TV. Thanks again.